students welcome to Sunil Chowdhury okay, and Sunil Mehwani and today we will be doing this chapter called as data interpretation we are going to see question number 90 to 94 study the following diagram carefully and answer the questions given below now they are saying that uh, production capacity uh, production capacity of footwear industry in large cities uh, shoes uppers and sandals Uh, the first question, the production capacity of leather sandals per day is maximum in sandals. Now sandals is the, this part is sandals. So in Chennai it is 85%, in Mumbai it is 100%, in Kolkata it is 85%, in Kharpur it is 110%, in Delhi it is 90% and in Hyderabad it is 95%. So just by visually you can find out that it is maximum in Nagpur. So answer 90, sorry, answer 90, Kanpur. Next, the ratio of capacity, the ratio of capacities per day of total leather goods to shoes, uppers is approximately how much? Right? Now, first of all, let's see shoes. Shoes uh, ratio I need to find out. Right? The ratio of the capacity per day to total leather shoes to shoes uppers is how much? Total leather shoes. Now leather shoes in Chennai is 18, in uh, Mumbai is 50, in Kolkata is 30, in Kanpur is 35. In Delhi is 20 and in Hyderabad is 60. Hmm. I presume there is some part missing there. In Hyderabad, some problem yeah. with the diagram yeah. because. The uppers, uppers are, are not given. Ah, uppers are not given. Right? Just make that correction. Shoes should be 10%. Just draw a line and make that correction. Shoes should be 10%. Or 10, whatever that is. 10,000. And uh, let's see this. Uh, upper shoes is 68 plus 52 plus 58 plus sorry 68 plus 52 plus 45 plus 0 plus 67 plus 60 right so if you do this this should come to 143 upon 292 so which is yeah 18 upon 37 so that's 153 yeah 153 yes 153 to 292 just check uh, the yeah. answer therefore 18 by 37? Uh, 0 0.523. 0 0.523. Divide 18 by 37? 0 0.486. Ah, not this. The answer is going to be different. You'll have to do the cancellation and get that answer. Right? Let's see the next question. The standard selling price of one pair of leather shoes is 500, of shoe uppers is 2000, and leather sandals is 200. If the sale price at Chennai is 10% of the standard price, and at Hyderabad it is 10% cheaper than the standard, then, the, then find the difference in the total sales between Chennai and Hyderabad. Assume sales quantity equal to capacity per day. Now, first of all, let's find out for if the sales price at Chennai, right? Now, they are saying that uh, at Chennai the sale price is 10% higher than the standard price. That should be 110 upon 100, 10% higher means 110 upon 100. If you look at the graph, right at the top of the graph, they have given you that 
number of pairs per day in thousand, right? So that number has to be the numbers given there have to be multiplied by thousand. So I multiply by thousand, and now let's see this for Chennai. Chennai it is going to be eighteen plus sixty-eight plus eighty-five. Eighteen, sorry, eighteen into eighteen is what shoes. Shoes is five hundred rupees per day. Plus, uh, upper is sixty-eight into two thousand. Plus, and leather sandals is eighty-five into two hundred. That would be the sales at Chennai, right? So this is going to be. Eleven hundred eighteen five zero ninety and two zeros eight two zero sixteen one thirty six and three zeros plus I do that is one seventy and two zeros eleven hundred some of these are this nine ah uh, seventeen and nine twenty seven twenty seven and thirty six fifty seven sixty three two sixty three someone check that please. Eleven three zero thirty three. Eleven six zero sixty six and three nine sixty nine. No. Eleven two zero twenty two and six twenty eight. One sixty two. One sixty two. That's nine thousand seventeen thousand. Ah, so one sixty two. One sixty two. Ah, do this multiplication. One seven eight two and five zero zero. Right. Yes. Now this was at Chennai. Now similarly, I can find out at next state they've said is Hyderabad. Ninety percent, ten percent less than the lower price. Thousand pairs are produced per day. Right. Hyderabad. Ah, uh, we said that we have made a correction there. That is. Ten, ten into five hundred plus sixty into two thousand plus eighty, no ninety five, ninety five into two hundred, right? So this is going to be nine hundred. This is five thousand. Six two dot twelve. And one two three four plus zero zero five two dot ten eighteen nineteen nineteen one twenty one thirty nine one lakh forty four thousand one lakh forty four thousand. Some of these matter values. One two nine six five zero one two nine six five zero. Therefore, the difference in sales is one seventy eight two minus one two nine six into five zeros. Subtract this piece. Four eighty six. Four eighty six and then five zeros. That is the difference in sale between Chennai and Hyderabad. Right? Next. This was the ninety second question. Then answer ninety three. A student while drawing the bar diagram misses the uh, misses following things for Chennai. To draw this, thus leaving it blank. To write 68, find the percentage error he commits in calculating production capacity of shoes upper per day. Instead of this, he leaves it blank. Okay, come on. Now this particular symbol stands for shoes. Okay, this particular symbol stands for shoes, right? That means he has made a uh, he has made an error in now uh, the drawing of diagram of shoes. Okay, 
if the scene is at blank and uh, to write 68 now find the percentage error he comments in calculating production capacity of shoes upon so it is only in shoes upon that he is forgotten to write 68 he is not made an error as such see percentage error is given by the form the correct value minus the fault upon correct value into 100 the correct value of shoes upon is 68 he has drawn it correctly except that he has only forgotten to write 68 has he made a mistake in drawing? no he has made a mistake in drawing of shoes he has not made a mistake in drawing of shoes upon divided by 68 into 100 Right, do we get this in here? Next. Let's see the 94th question. In Mumbai, the production of leather shoes and leather sandals are 75. Leather shoes, shoes upper and leather sandals are 75, 50 and 80 percent capacity respectively. Find the combined annualized capacity in Mumbai. Right? You said that in Mumbai. In Mumbai, the production of leather shoes, shoes and leather sandals is this much. Find the combined unutilized capacity in Mumbai. Okay. They asked you to find out the unutilized capacity in Mumbai. Now so they are saying that total capacity of Mumbai total capacity of Mumbai in Mumbai we are producing 40,000 shoes plus 52,000 upper shoes and uh, we are also producing 100,000 sandals. This is that 1,000 I am writing outside. So, in all, we are producing 192,000. That's my total capacity. Right? Now, they are saying that total production in total production in Mumbai. This is the total capacity that Mumbai can produce. But instead of producing the whole thing, we are producing only 75% of shoes. We are producing only 50% of uppers. And we are producing only 80% of sandals. Right? So in that case, this is going to be to simplify this, this is 25 threes are, 25 fours are, tens are. So this is 30, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 25 plus 80 into 10 raised to 3, 100, 135 into 10 raised to 3. This is the production. So that means what is the total production of Mumbai? Required production is 135 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 192 into 10 raised to 3 into 100 percentage wise 70.31 excuse me 70.31 70.31 so the production capacity in Mumbai is 71 fine do we get this in here this finishes the sum we'll stop this here for the day thank you very much